Hello everybody, Spike Games here. We are back with, we are going to be doing some, if I can figure out how mouse works, um, some ranked with our white weenie deck. Been playing this deck a little bit off camera. Um, and it's strong. I mean, it feels like you're always in the driver's seat. Uh, I definitely think I'm getting better at it as I play it more, which is <laughs> should be the case, but uh it's got it's got some game, I think. I played with it last night and uh, I played till I got a loss and it was I stayed up far later than I should have, so <laughs> uh, we're gonna keep this hand. It's pretty good. We do need third mana for our big kind of top end things, but we got it, so here we go. Opponent seems to be on the Gruel Monsters list here. Which I think is actually very strong. Um, let's see if they decide to block here. Nice. I'm glad they didn't. We have to sentry down. Next turn, I think we're going to marshal, depending on what they play. Mm -hmm. They are walking some branches here. We are going to... Marshall, I believe. Uh, and then I, I think we actually wait. Might sound crazy, but I think we want to get just. They don't have wipers in uh, Gruel, Green Red, so I think we just want to make a huge board. That, on the other hand, is incredibly scary. <laughs> Hmm. All right, so we got four natural mana. So we can do this and this. Just try and make a huge team. In fact, we can do this and this and this. <laughs> this is mono white for you here. City's Blessing. And we do this. Fun is still very scary here. He's going to hit us probably for just eight in the air. All right, and killing that guy is annoying. Makes our team a lot smaller. Not swinging with dragon is interesting. I think they're worried that we're just going to come in and kill with our flyer. Um, little does opponent know, we're just going to do that anyway. Definitely exiling dragon here, too, because it goes away forever, first of all, and we get to just kill. I would have killed this, but whatever. Get that out of here. Uh, what do we do next? Um, I think... Does opponent have shock? 
I don't think so. Listen to them roar. Oh no, they have it. Oh my gosh. That's bad. That's very bad. Well, I guess I made them have it. I don't know. I guess swinging out would have been a better play there. You want to play with fire, huh? Sit back and watch it burn. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Nah, that was a mistake. I think that's going to lose us the game, unfortunately. Although, we did get super lucky here. Get rid of Sarkin here. Start the beats. This is for 17, so it's not quite lethal, but. It was a very large attack, I would say. <laughs> Mm-hmm. All right, well, we got there. I thought we were definitely gonna lose that game. I think I deserve to lose that game, actually. But I will take it. I'm not gonna complain. Play again. Johnny has two color eyes. Looks like he has got a scar on one eye. It's kind of like Thor. <laughs> Keeping this hand, by the way. We do need third mana for history, but one drop into one drop, one drop into, the, into probably three drop is pretty solid. The nice thing about uh, decks with such a low curve is pretty much all your draws are live, right? Because we'll have... One drop into one drop, one drop. And then if we draw land, we get three drop. If we draw most anything in our deck, uh, except for the six other three drops, so the four marshals and the other two histories, uh, those are live draws. So pretty nice. The Loxodons also are live draws, which is fun because we'll have, if we don't draw land, it'll be land, land, guy, guy, guy. Right, so that's five mana, technically, for a Loxodon. Okay, so now our three mana play is this guy, assuming we draw land, because uh, we'll hit for two, then we'll play two dudes, and then we'll play this guy. And hit in for a bunch. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Sure. No, not in turn. <laughs> All right, opponents on Mabu Tempo. It looks like so. I hope they tap out this turn. Because then we get our Marshall down, which is very good for us. See, now I'm much more inclined to History of Benalia than Marshall because I think they have Counterspell. And this is more valuable to me. So let's just do that. Bait out the counter here. Yep. Yeah. 
opponent said oops. I'm not sure why that was an oops, but oh well. This is an interesting race. I'm not sure that we win it. We'll see. Okay. I don't know that this gets better for us is the thing, right? Because I think at some point we just need to go for it. And I think that's now. We just got to go for it. Try and get the trickster. Uh-huh. He'll chomp probably. Well, trade or not. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to know, right? It's hard to know if they have the retort in their hand, too. Uh, or just like a, a hard counter for the marshal. Count this gym, okay. Here's where we go for it again. If they have the hard counter, I think we're done. Oh, they don't. Okay, awesome. We don't have attacks now, though, which is rough. I think we lose now, right? 3, 9, 10, 5, 6... Blocking. Taking seven. Uh huh. I guess I should have double blocked this, but I don't know that that saves us. Two, three, eight. Here's our best shot, I think. They have last card counter. No, okay. I'm going to take six here. We can't get there. Good game. I don't know if we misplayed that. I think we might have with... Uh, we should have put Marshall... Or we should have made them answer Marshall first. Because the two spell pierces were pretty rough. <laughs> one might say. Yeah, here's another one of these hands, right? You need the third land. <laughs> okay, well, we got it. He has elf on turn one, though, which is scary. The, the reason elf on turn one is so good, right, is because your, your turn two is now a turn three, your turn three is now a turn four, right? So you... It ramps you not just one time, basically, is how, how that goes. <laughs> this guy's annoying. Oh yeah, two of them, why not? <laughs> ouch, ouch. Um, here? What do we do here? These guys are beating us down pretty ruthlessly, I think. Uh, I think we just want to 
to do this, right? Get rid of one of these guys. Hit. Or three. Opponent got out to a really fast start. I don't know if we can compete. We begin. Behold. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. We're just so behind. <laughs> I think. I think we just want to get the dragon out of the way. Forever. And kill Sarkin. Okay. 1 for 1ing Sarkin is very hard to do, let's say. <laughs> so that was fine. Oh lord. Okay. I think our opponent is just too strong for us this game. Yeah, we're gonna scoop. That was rough. The double gruel spellbreaker start was pretty backbreaking. It was good play by opponent though, because they knew to make them hasty and not try and make them big. Usually big is the right answer, but in that case, hasty was definitely the better call. Keep this hand. Let's see what opponent is on here. <laughs> I didn't know that that did that. play Aspirant first because this can't attack and we want this to be able to target something if we can. Going for maximum DPS here. Get hit for five next turn. Takes Conclave Tribunal here. So this can get rid of Planeswalkers, which is this. This is Esper Control or Demir Control, both of which use Planeswalkers as a big win con. Yeah. We're gonna hold this guy in hand because if they wipe the board, we want to be able to do things still. I'm gonna get the vanguard here, probably. Mm hmm. Good Nickel Bullis, he's so sad. He's in the prison realm.
I think he has to take Vanguard here, right? Scrying to the top is not what I want to see. Oh, he takes Law Reinforcer. Interesting. Sure. You're going to get hit for 7 next turn. Again, we're going to hold things in hand so that we have follow-up plays after he wipes the board. His opponent's just, you know, on a very rough clock here. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, let's see. Since opponent played a creature, it doesn't seem like they have a board wipe. And because of that, we're going to play one of our things out here. We're just going to stay aggro. Now we just present a lot of lethal threats. I think that's a pretty solid plan. Oh, another one, huh? It's pretty good. Though it does indicate that opponent probably doesn't have the board wipe, which means we just get to spew out our hand here. Um, okay, well, we're definitely in with the Vanguard. Oh, wow. That's so aggro. It makes me a little concerned, though. <laughs> Hmm. Well, let's just do it. If they don't have the board wipe here, we win. If they do, we lose. Pretty simple. All of our threats are lethal. <laughs> Shocks himself to death. Nice. Slick. Plague Mare. Let's see what we got in our pack. Take a little break. Krenko. Alright. Probably one or two more matches. Depending on how short they are. Good hand, as per usual, we need third land, but that'll be okay. Okay, third land next turn. I feel it. No, okay. Well, <laughs> I think we're going to be a little conservative again. Are we? Yeah, we are. Just because board wipe is one of the biggest ways this deck can kill us. Past, present, and future mm -hmm. are but bottoms before action. Yep, see? <laughs> there it is. Alright, 
right, so probably he can do this next turn and wipe the board, right? So I think we just hold our hand and we go like this. We don't want him to get more gas. I was not prepared for this. Mm hmm. Converted mana cost three or less. It's so brutal, dude. I think we still just do this. Because this will survive and this will survive. So now it's not a pure board wipe. Thorn has to be a lot more careful. Two minus two. Yeah, that gets around indestructible. That's true. Hmm. When you play this, he just wipes it next turn. Urgh, this is a tough one. Um. Doesn't even kill his own guy. Hacks, dude. Alright, um. We just gotta do it, I think. I don't know how we're going to win this game, but... <laughs> uh-huh. Thorin has more removal? Ugh. Yeah? That's not enough, though. I don't think they have the wipe because they would have snapped it off, right? Can flip this and they lose the creature, which is important. They need the blockers. So, yeah. I don't really know. What do they have here? Search for his contest is not going to do it for sure. That's a land. Okay, well. For good measure, I guess.
What do you have? Doesn't do it. Okie dokie. <laughs> Opponent scaring me till the very end there. We'll play one more in this video, I think. See if we can get to gold two. Ooh, nickel ball loss. So scary. <laughs> Looks like we're playing against Mono Red, which is fine. Sort of a tough matchup because they have better aggro and more inevitability than we do, but. Do get to do fun stuff like this. And we do need third land. I feel like that all that's all I ever say with this deck. <laughs> Definitely block there. There's third land. Yeah, the reason we're playing that first is because we want this to come in and make things more powerful uh, in a hasty way, if we can. So that's the reasoning behind that one. All right, they're on their card advantage engine here. Play this. Play this. Last turn. This is a knight, actually, which is nice <laughs> with the the buff, but you know, of course, mono red, no fun. Here's an interesting question. Would I rather them be playing off the top or get to play the cards in their hand? I think just the top. Weird as that seems. So I think, well, hmm. <laughs> We're definitely attacking with everyone. You know what? I lied. I lied. We're going to get rid of this. I could double block the marshal, I suppose. But that puts them in a pretty rough spot. They then have four cards to deal with a flip to Danto for it. I mean, it's 17, so. See who's got better card advantage here. Yeah, I'll take four, that's fine. Oh, interesting, no attacks. He should have attacked there. Definitely should have attacked, because I couldn't block. Hmm. 
not great. Not great at all, no. But we get to keep banking dudes. And they do have a lifelink, so. And we do get to tap down Chain Willer forever, so that's also nice. Our advantage engine is scary. Just to land, okay. You burn it. Um, I think we need to go pace. That was a mistake. I always forget that these are legendary. I should have made a guy and then flipped it and then we could have made another guy. It's probably a fairly large mistake too. Oh well. Let's light it up. Mm -hmm. These guys knights? No, just vampires. I think we're gonna get there. It's, gonna, it's uh, definitely a slog, but the fact that we're back up to 15 is very good, I think. Opponent now has to be really careful with attacks too. They're very low. Gonna be another longer video here, I think, but hopefully it's worth it. Sure, we get our end step stop here. Making guys is very important. Okay, opponent can 7 us this turn. I think we just want to gear up for a huge turn next turn. Yeah, this is great. They might scoop to this. I don't see how they get around it. They just get huge team with lifelink. Uh, pass turn. Yep, they get to do the thing. It's a lot of cards. What did they get? Anything good? Not really. The 
Proving uh, fairly important, actually, that I didn't make this token earlier, right? Here, even more important, right? Because it would have died to that or to these guys, right? But now I'm forcing an attack, which... Okay. Am I dead? Three, five, six, seven. I'm not dead <laughs> somehow. Because of this token, look how important that is. <laughs> hmm. I don't think we're going to survive another turn, right? Hmm. These guys will get buffed. They will be big. He will have to block, block. Uh, and... We're just taking it. These guys have vigilance, crucially. <laughs> This is such a close game. Ugh. I think opponent might have it here with the risk factor, though, because we have to decline. They get three cards. If any of them are burned, we die. Okay. It's a good sign. Please, no burn. I think that'll do it. We can make token, but then he kills token and comes in, and we can't do anything about it. Oh, what a close game. Great way to end the video, though. It's hard to know if that one token I should have made was the difference there. It very well might have been. Ugh. Flipping the thing, gotta remember that. Make your guys then flip it. All right. This has been Spike Games with a little bit of a longer video, but I'm really enjoying this White Weenie deck, so we'll definitely be playing more of it. Any like, comment, subscribe, help the channel grow, and let me know that you like what I'm doing. We will see you next time.